Okay, let's move on to a sketch effect from the same image. This time I was a little more conservative on how low a pixel count I went. Uh, the first image is at 300 dots per inch and is essentially 11 by 14. Uh, the next one is at 150 dots per inch and you can see the difference in size there. These are all at 100% um, magnification. This one is uh, 5 by 7, but at 300 dots per inch. And you can see that relatively they're about the same. Uh, this one that's 11 by 14 by 150, and this one that's 5 by 7 by uh, 300, because this, the pixel dimension across and down are the same. So that's something people get confused about with when it comes to resolution. This one looks smaller yet because it's 5 by 7 by 150 dots per inch. Now I'm going to, without you watching, I'll run them all through the same sketching settings and see what happens. So these four are the same exact sketch application on four different sizes. I'll go through them starting down at the bottom right is our original which was approximately 11 by 14 at 300 dots per inch. And then as you can see the one above it is labeled correctly. It's the same inches dimensions but at 150 dots per inch. And uh, to me the sketching effect in all this part is pretty nice. I actually like the little heavier line that comes out of it as a result. Uh, I don't like the defect in here. Uh, who knows if I'd run it a second time, uh, you know, just undid it and redid it, if that would be there. You know, the real reason that uh, the sketching lines look thicker on our uh, statue is that we're blowing those, I, I was blowing each of the uh, smaller images up to match the bigger image and so that's magnifying the line width. Uh, it's not a fault of uh, the program choosing a larger brush. Um, and it, it worked out fairly well uh, regardless of the size of the image for the rough sketch. Um, I think we're getting more detail on the sketches from the full image though. Uh, so it may be to the advantage if you want a rough sketch to have to make the image smaller and do it and then probably run it through gigapixel if you need a larger print, but uh, that's an experiment for another day. Anyway, I was uh, first, when I first recorded that segment on the sketches, I was running away at the mouth too much, and so I'm skipping ahead now to a watercolor impression. And um, I'm going to show you something in a minute here. Uh, this is the result I got. Uh, my uh, watercolor uh, look that I used started with an abstraction, then edges, and then the watercolor effect on top. And I got this kind of blurry, smudgy look uh, to it. And then I went back and I reduced the abstraction and I reduced the edges, and it gives this appearance. Now here's the funny thing. This is the full-size image, and I want to just talk about it in terms of full-size, half-size, and quarter-size. Each one of these is a step down in the pixel dimension, meaning the width and the length in pixels is reduced by half going here to this one, and by half going here to this one. Now watch the detail in the front. All three of these, this one, this one, this one, full, half, quarter. What do you notice? Look at how sharp or dull or blurry 
this post and beam with the stucco in between, how how sharp, how distinct are those posts and beams? That's the full size, that's the half size, that's the quarter size. A big jump going from here to here. And each of those had the same exact look applied. Let me show you what that look is. Uh, I'll duplicate the bottom layer. I'll turn off these top two. And we'll go into to Topaz Studio 2. So if you look to the right column here, I added this look uh, that I created that uh, starts with abstraction, uh, adds edges, and then the impression. And for all three images, the settings are the same. Uh, so if we want to look inside abstraction, it has some simplify, some detail strength, and detail radius. And edges, uh, suppressing, uh, simplifying, suppressing weak edges and small edges with high edge resolution. And this is the image we're getting. Here's the impression. It's using uh, the brush type 9 with these settings. This is one of the standard watercolor comes with Topaz Studio. So if we shut off the abstraction, we may be getting a little more of that detail back. Let's bring up a little closer for you to see. That's with the abstraction off. And that's with the abstraction on. Definitely in this fine detail, we're getting a lot fuzzier. But even the post and beams are getting a little fuzzier uh, by having abstraction on. Let's turn off edges and see if that makes a difference. And uh, the, edge, the edges contract a little bit because the edge effect actually thickens the edges a little bit. But what's impressive is the difference between this outcome for the full-size image and the outcome for these other images. Look how thick the beams appear here and fuzzy compared to this one or compared to this one. So I think in conclusion, yes, image resolution and size do matter. The real thing is what's the pixel dimensions of your image. Um, that's really the determining uh, factor here. And then the program just has to figure out how to work with all those. And we could see it in each of our experimentations, the oils, the sketches, and this uh, com uh, a little more complex look with abstraction edges and watercolor. I'm getting different images for sure. So it just tells you you have to experiment. I see less uh, sharpness of the detail here than I do here. And certainly if I'm going for a watercolor look, I want more of this blurry effect. The conclusion from my experiments is that if you start with a uh, more densely packed uh, pixel image, so basically the largest and highest resolution uh, that you can have, the result is actually going to, in my thoughts, be better. Uh, now that there, you can use this difference though to your advantage uh, in the sketches, but especially in the oils here. I really think that we got the nicest uh, result with the full-size picture. This one was about half the resolution 
And it does okay, but I see a lot of pixelation. So um, I really think we did get a much better result with the full-size image. So my conclusion is I'd rather work with the full-size image that I lose effect, especially with the oils and some detail with the sketch by using a uh, smaller image and that really it didn't save time in processing uh, at least on my system with the images that we experimented with that are pretty typical 20 megapixel uh, camera output. So you have to experiment and find your own happiness. But I did not save processing time by going to a smaller image and I did lose the resolution that I was looking for. I am very happy with this result. So let's summarize. Size does matter. It's the available pixel count that counts. Uh, it's kind of like the old Geigo thing, garbage in, garbage out. The more uh, information we give Topaz to work with, the finer the detail of the brushes can be. So pixels per inch times inches is going to equal the size in pixels. A 5 by 7 at 300 dots per inch is equal to a 10 by 14 inch at 150 dots per inch. By reducing a 10 by 14 at 300 dots per inch to a 5 by 7 at 150 dots per inch, you're going to one quarter the size from approximately 12 megapixels down to 3 megapixels. That's a considerable difference. It does change the outcome uh, that you get from impression with the identical brush settings. It doesn't affect my processing time, so it's not a huge benefit anyway. It may yield a desirable effect like broader brushed sketches, but it could also cause 